Hi everyone, so in this video we are going to do the fifth challenge of the Cyber Hackathon series of Android Application Exploitation of Karachi. Um, I'm tired of saying it, honestly. So um, we are going to do both static and dynamic analysis in this one. Yeah, I'm going to first just take a look at the application uh, glimpse and see what it is going to do. Mm, okay we have native uh, so one thing you would see you know the package name in this one and the last we were JNI was same because you know the name is also the same like JNI flower so they probably didn't have time to rename this I guess something like that so we have native methods in here first second third and fourth these fourth and this write to file method is also being called from there I think in the last one the write to file method was right down here uh, I'm not sure I don't remember correctly but uh, I think there was that hex to string method as well uh, maybe that has been removed too so um, here we can see that we have three strings those are storing this and then it is going to write to file those three strings and this fourth you know whatever is being written from these four it's just going to write it to a file and then that write to file method is being called from the native library itself so we are going to take a look at that right so I'm going to compile the application. You can use Apical tool or you can use, you know, um, JEDX or you can just unzip it as well because this is, in its essence, it is a zip file, right, in APK, but it's just signed. So, you know, uh, APK doesn't say that, uh, Android doesn't say why isn't, it isn't. So I'm going to install that as well into, into Jenny Motion. And then we are going to actually take a look into the libraries x86 and you can just generate a file here and it tells us that it's 32 bit definitely because we are in this directory so we are going to use Kidra to analyze this file and see you know what we get disrupt right so we can debug this native library so I'm just going to import this right and Kidra there we go close this import it okay Okay, and then we are going to analyze this. Uh, Why isn't it open? Okay, there we go. Oh man, I'm getting sleepy. Okay, analyze and you know just um, let it do its stuff because if you take a uh, look at it, you know uh, some methods won't have complete code and stuff. It you know they would be just jumbled data so we can see that you know only one two three four uh, were being called and write to file method was being called but here we have some extra methods as well so first take a look at write to file what it does it's going to write to slash flag two dot txt and then it's going to write um probably the pattern which we are passing in here where one three and i guess yeah f write it is you know doing the call and then it's going to write um, into it, I'm not sure if it is the PTR. I think it is, right? Yeah, it is probably. Whatever. So you know, just so when we click on the first button, right? There is only one button. It is going to do that. So you know, open the application, do a click on it multiple times, maybe. Okay, to be show. Um, we are going to go to the storage of the application, find out, and we don't have the file. Since it was doing that flag to the DXC, could it be then it is writing it? Let me take a look at it again. Oh, 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 oh. So, uh, right after it writes to this file, it is also going to delete it. Probably that is what is happening here, right? Local underscore 78. I think, yes, that is what is happening. It is going to delete that file uh, right after it writes to it. Uh, I think, yes, that is what's happening. So, uh, what, we, what can we do to get this? You know, so the easiest thing here is to just check what these methods return right uh, what this write to file method returns probably it does something okay it's empty so you know just take a look at what these return right and then just concatenate the value of these and you know go from there so in the last video we use rms right in this one we are going to use objection so the first thing i am going to do is run the frida server there we go and then i'm going to use objection dash g Explorer, there you go, and then Android. Okay, watch. I think first we gotta check the wow, <laughs> I have everything in here. Main activity, right? I mean, you could have copied it from there, but 
uh, I mean, I have done this application so many times in Lahore, Islamabad, Karachi. I just remember everything, sadly. So we are going to add a hook for this method first, you know, just take a look at what it returns, right? And then we are going to hook these if we don't get anything fruitful from this one. So, you know, just rename this method. The first one is always the, I think the class name, I'm not sure. Let's take a look at it, like, what is it? No, I think, no, you just pass out. So dump parks, backtrace and return, whatever it is doing, right? So it is going to add a listener for it. And when we call this, it's going to call that method. And there we go. Uh, this is the argument which was being passed to it. So we got the argument, not the return value. So, you know, you remember that when it was concatenating everything and passing it to it. So we just got that in here. So we can actually decode it since this is hex encoded. And there we go, we got the second flag of the challenge. Now what about the third one? So for that, we are going to go back to Hydra, see if there is any extra function which is not being called in the application anywhere. And we know that this, uh, I mean, there are other methods as well, right? But this one is more fishy than that one. So if we take a look over here, you know, nothing seems that much of interest. But if you take a look over here, you can see that there are four methods which are being called. So that's get bit and that doesn't con okay uh, i think it is writing something to some text file i guess and go back we have get pin one and okay so we have a string http karachi probably a url or something so a uh, shout out to Mukaram khalib here actually he was the one who found this i mean um i tried a lot but i wasn't able to you know make sense of it i, I mean i've never jumped onto these methods in it right i totally skipped them so http karachi uh, cyber hackathon i think and then it would be dot pk something dot com slash hex decoder and in the fourth one we have slash flag three so you know uh, that was supposed to be accessed internally in the land i i think they might have added a dns record for that or you could have just you know added uh in your etc host file uh whatever the ip of this challenge was against that host and you could have just uh, references path slash decoder slash flag three and you could have got an access to the flag three right so this is actually a http request and was supposed to be done into the local environment so i don't have the value of this and also this since this was done in karachi i was in lahore so yeah if any kind soul from Karachi wants to contribute, he can comment the flag. So, um, so we have the second and third flag. What about the first one? So, you know, our last resort or our first thing, which we should always do is take a look at the strings, uh, of all the strings, which are being referenced in the application, right? We should do that. So just look at flag and there we go. We have a string hex flag first and pretty easy. We just got the flag in there, right? So that is also a hex encoded one. And there we go, we got the first flag, second flag, and third flag from the HTTP progress. So this was pretty simple. Yeah, uh, see you in the next one. Uh, I think the next one is going to be a little bit difficult. Uh, I don't remember exactly, but yeah, it will, it, it would, it won't be. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.